battle that has stood the test of time, brother against brother, the never-ending debate, it is Boob Wars Big Breasts vs. Flat Chests. Originally released in Japan by Softhouse Seal in August of 2010, finally was granted an English release on October 2012 by Manga Gamer. When I first heard of this title, I imagined something along the lines of Sakura vs. Hinata, Chizuru vs. Nozomu, or Louise vs. about 90% of the female cast of Zero no Sakaima. To sum up the storyline, essentially we have a world where for some odd reason, the women were started to be born with having only E or A-sized breasts. Naturally, the world divided itself between the two, and all hell broke loose. The Big Breast Tribe, led by their sweet and gentle queen, Milk Eliotto, and the Flat Chest Tribe, by the fierce and dominating queen, Teresa Primadasa. In an all-out war that threatens to destroy the world, it is up to our protagonist to put an end to this conflict in the most obvious way possible. Beating them all in a card game. Sure, it's not dual monsters, but the basic premise still exists. In a sense, you play a version of the card game War, by which you have an attack phase and a defense phase where you play numbered cards, trying to be higher than those your opponent plays, eventually reducing their HP to zero, and thus winning the match. Apparently, this concept was so well liked that once you complete the game, you are actually able to replay the battles. In my opinion, not the best choice for an extra. However, based on everything else, the sales actually did rather well, as Manga Gamer has recently purchased three other Softhouse titles that are either current or planned releases. Though their stories are short, ranging typically from 2 to 10 hours, as dictated by the Visual Novel Database, the prices practically match at $24.95. Speaking of the Visual Novel Database, if you are fluent in Japanese, might I recommend the spin-off game that takes place in the same universe? I'll leave you to search that one up. Pretty much because it's hard as hell for me to pronounce the Japanese names. Back to the task at hand, the weakest part of this novel was the limited amount of music that was included. Characters did not get their own themes, as I had come to love in Shuffle and Koihime Muso. But the same music was played during similar scenes, which became predictable and dull upon the second playthrough. And, as I previously mentioned, the battle gameplay aspect was not the most original concept in the world, leading the battles to get boring rather fast. Something that I just wanted to skip, 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 as fast as I could. The character development, for the main characters at least, was actually well delivered for such a short game. And by main characters, I literally mean the two queens as the side characters were easily self-explanatory after the first meeting. So to speak on their behalf, I will focus on the two queens. Milk Eliotto, a name that is so obvious, if she was to be called anything else, it would be called unacceptable. As her looks would lead you to believe, her personality is timid in every extent, but she is still willing to be the kind-hearted queen who would do anything to protect her subjects. Her interesting personality is Black Queen Milk, who in my opinion is crazier than a rival queen of the flat chess. Simply trust me on this one, when she ends up coming out, you aren't going to know what to do. So, best to just go with the flow and hope that all goes well in the end. Teresa Primidasa, a character design that, when you get to know her, resembles a certain amputated hyperactive runner. And just to release all doubts, this visual novel did come out before the final release of Kadawa Shoujo. As you would take at first glance, Teresa is the true tsunderistic archetype that we've come to expect out of any decent visual novel nowadays. However, while she does have a caring personality towards our protagonist, she can get very high strung when it comes to her enemies. And let's just say that it's a good thing that you're there to keep things under control. Now, y'all may not think of me as the artsy type, but if I am to be honest, the artistry for this novel is my personally favorite part. The artist, Homaru Subaru, has quickly become one of my favorites as his designs are simple and move away from the typical bright colors that are common to Moe series. But more resembles that of the artist for Katawa Shoujo. Once again, you can see why some people were concerned that one party may have ripped off the other. But to me, it is a style that I think more CG needs to be styled after, despite sometimes having the proportions a bit off. Well, that's what Suspension of Disbelief is for. And the animated scenes with camera movements brings a different element to the mix. My only problem with the art is that the budget was stretched too thin, and there could have been a few more pieces of CG that would have really tied the dialogue together and made it more interesting. So in conclusion, Boob Wars, Big Breasts vs. Flat Chests, has a storyline that's not too great, 
And once again, not original, but it was the first one to actually step up the game and do it. And judging on the sales, Soft House has actually made a good step into the English market. The music, while limited, was surprisingly good for the short amount of effort that was put into it. The storyline was okay, the characters, at least the mains, were really good in my opinion. They brought a sense of depth into the personalities for such a short game. And last but not least, the artistry was by far the most superior aspect of this game. So what is my final conclusion? Boob Wars Big Breasts vs Flat Chests, created by Soft House Seal and distributed English by Manga Gamer, I give a 3 out of 5 stars. Not the world's greatest, not the world's worst, but still something that you can do on a Saturday afternoon when you have 25 bucks free. And that's about it. Until next time, this is Newman saying, play hard and save often.